Hey, welcome back, guys. We're going to pull a game out of here. What is this? This will be World at War issue number 76 from February of March 2021. Invasion Norway. Let's open the bag and see what we get. Of course, it's not going to cooperate. I see. All right, so first here, we have the magazine. It's a nice magazine. Um, I, I always liked World at War. It's a good magazine. So let's... Well, here it is right here. Rule page number one. And it goes to page 16, like they usually do. Most of these war games and these uh, magazines, especially uh, decision game magazines, they have about 16 pages of rules. But sometimes there's a lot of charts, a lot of empty space, a lot of explanations. But they run about 16 pages. I, I've learned that much, I guess. This game is about Churchill's plan to invade... Norway in 1942. I believe this never happened. <laughs> this is one of those what-if scenarios. Uh, here we have an introduction. They talk about uh, Allied force groupings, Sweden, Norway and Finnmark, Soviet-Finnish border. Uh, then we go to the components. Looks like... Uh, Standard NATO symbols. Oh, look, Soviet ski troops. Uh, up here's an explanation of the counters. Looks like they have an attack, a defense, and a movement factor. Here's some historical identifications. Yeah, here we have administrative markers. Going over setup. Allied setup. German setup. It looks like some supply. That's a supply marker. How to win. Victory conditions. End of game victory. Tracking victory points. Craig's Marine sortie. That's interesting. Um, then we hit sequence of play. Here we go. Turn sequence. Weather determination. Air superiority, movement and combat, alternating actions, movement and combat recovery, alternating actions. What? Yeah, I don't understand this one. I've never played it, never read it. Air superiority, superiority, zones of control, and hex control. Stacking and Fog of War. Here we have a special section on Sweden. Here's some more explanation of air superiority. Reinforcements and replacements. Here we go, supply. Movement. Combat. This is going over the uh, combat procedure, combat results table. Concentric attack bonus. Yeah, I remember this from some older games. Momentum attacks. Hmm. Year two turn record chart. Oh, these are some variant rules. Oh, so the rules for this game only come in at 13 pages. 
This page here is for variant rules for World of War issue 70. This page here is for variant rules for World of War 74. And it looks like there's probably some counters included in the counter mix for this game. And then the, uh, the final page is Operation Jupiter Charts and Tables. I don't... This ain't Operation Jupiter, right? No, this is Invasion Norway. Is it Invasion? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the rules. Let's take a look at these counters. Uh, let's see. This is a supplement. All right, well, that doesn't mean much. It just means it's a counter sheet. Um... Usually, oh, here we go. Great Pacific War errata and variant counters. Okay, so half of this counter sheet is for variant shit for other games. So I guess this is the counter, most of the counter mix over here for, uh, for this Norway game. Oh, wait a minute. There's Operation Jupiter. Oh, maybe Operation Jupiter was the British... Oh, well, you know what? Anyway, this is the counter sheet. Standard NATO symbols. You have mountain troops, regular infantry, uh, airborne mountain troops. What the hell? Um, you got some supply counters, some Marines, commandos. Okay. Standard what you figure you'd have. Now let's look at this map. I'm a sucker for maps. A big, big fan of the maps I am. Ooh, look at this one, boys. What the... North. So we're looking south. So Russia would... Oh, uh, Okay. I see what's going on here. Here's Sweden. Here's Norway up here. Here's Finland. Over here is Russia. And the the red borders up, reckon. Oh, here's Finnmark. It's like its own little country or something. I've never heard of it. I'm going to have to look at that up. Uh, but anyway, uh, the map looks pretty good. It's got your uh, forests. Rough terrain, roads, lakes. I don't see any rivers. The map is certainly functional. It may be kind of drab, but it's functional, which is all I give a shit about. Down here, we have a combat results table, weather table, allied victory points. And over here we have the game turn sequence. Or turn record, sorry. This actually looks like a pretty decent game. Um, I'm certainly not going to play it. If any of you guys ever play this game, let me know how it plays. It looks pretty daggone good. Where's the ski troops? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, these aren't the right. I don't see any ski troops in here. Oh, there they are. Soviet ski troops. Why don't the Finns have any? Oh, that's German. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.